You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have the pleasure of having Pastor John Page from Mount Moriah Baptist Church here in studio. Welcome, Pastor. Thank you for having us. Thanks for coming on. You've got a great event coming up to uh, celebrate the 34th anniversary of the church. Yeah, absolutely. Tell us about it. Uh, well, we wanted to do something that was fun and for the community, and we wanted to do something that families could come to and uh, get outside of the uh, movement or the arena of just being in a church house and, and really just have an evening of celebrating what uh, the community, uh, Mount Moriah, has been able to do within this community and celebrate uh, with friends and with family and with people right here in the community. So we decided that we wanted to put on a... Uh, uh, a show, uh, if you will, and uh, have some good, uh, clean fun. So we uh, uh, certainly reached out to uh, a Christian comedian, uh, Chris Clark, and he agreed to come up, and he's going to uh, tell some funny stories, funny jokes, and there's going to be singing, there's going to be uh, uh, comedy, there's going to be good, wholesome family fun. So we're looking forward to it. Now, usually when you think comedy, it's not, it can be raunchy. This is not going to be. This sure, is, because this, this is, is a church event, but it's still going to be fun. Absolutely. He is hilarious. He's been uh, nominated for uh, awards, and there's not going to be any profanity, uh, any kind of uh, bad language or anything like that, and just real good, wholesome family fun. So we're certainly encouraging families to come out, bring your children, bring grandma, bring grandpa, bring aunts and uncles to come out and get ready to have a good time. Now, it says on the flyer, King of Christian Comedy, Chris <laughs> Clark, okay, and it says two 2015 NAACP Image Award nominee. Yes. NAACP is a big part of Brockton mm -hmm. and a big part of the country, especially now with all the stuff going on. I mean, Absolutely. it's been strong in the Brockton community for years and years and years. Absolutely. And it's nice to see that. And you got a committee together, you guys are selling tickets, you're doing an ad book. Yes. Now, if somebody wants to get involved in helping you, not just buy a couple of tickets, but mm -hmm. you got a committee, how would they, would they contact the church? What, what would they do? Absolutely. Uh, certainly uh, contact the church, uh, Mount Moriah uh, Baptist Church, 508-588-0833. Uh, uh, we can reach us by email at mtmariah at comcast.net. And um, either one of those avenues would be able to uh, facilitate uh, if somebody wants to purchase tickets, if somebody wants to uh, contribute, if somebody wants to purchase an ad. Uh, there's all, uh, uh, those are the methods that I would recommend. And you set up on, on Eventbrite, I see right on the fly. Absolutely. So can buy a ticket. Sometimes the, the newer generation that does everything online can go that way where somebody might call the church and get a ticket in, in another respect. And I know when I was talking to, to Michael that different committee members have tickets within the church. So if you have a friend, maybe you're not a member of the church, but you have a friend That's at the right. church, you can get the tickets. To That's right. The church we members. want to get the word out to as many people as we can. There's a Facebook page put up. There's Eventbrite. There's uh, the website, church website, mm -hmm. uh, www.mtmariahbrockton.org. Um, so, yeah, however we can get the information church out. Church bulletin, I'm sure. Church bulletin, church absolutely. Bulletin, so there you go. Now, I don't know if we said the date. It's Saturday, October 17th, 6 to 11 at Massasoit Conference Center. Now, That's correct. me being a teacher from Massasoit, proud of Massasoit, it's a great place to go. The food is really good there. Oh, excellent. And the facility is a nice facility. And okay. it, it's it's, it's kind of out of the way, tucked off on the corner of Brockton and Whitman. But I don't know. I, I that's, that's kind of an alma mater. I've been teaching there for 23 years. So oh, in, in the interest of full disclosure. Sure. But what you're doing, you have a dinner, mm -hmm. you have the comedy. Mm -hmm. It's a full night. Absolutely. So how's it going so far? Are you getting a good response? Uh, we've had a fantastic response. Uh, we're looking forward to the actual event taking place. It's been a, a long road in terms of getting the committee together, getting all the work and preparation together. They've been working very hard, and um, people are excited about this. They've been talking about it. There's a great buzz, great energy, and so, uh, so we're excited. We're excited. Now, let me ask you a question. I knew your predecessor pretty well. He was yes. there a long time, Reverend Neville. Yes. How long have you been at the church? This is my third year. I've been okay. there two years uh, in June. June began my third year. So getting used to the Brockton community, uh, getting out, meeting individuals, it's been a fantastic journey thus far. And look forward to doing more work in the community with other, partnering with other organizations, uh, other uh, churches, other civic organizations, other groups, uh, government, whatever the case may be, uh, in order to make a better Brockton. So. Now, Mount Moriah has always been a strong church in Brockton. It partners with a lot of people. I think one of the first productions I ever did, believe it or not, the first one I ever did was St. Patrick's Church for the St. Patrick's Day Mass. 
But we did a gospel fest oh. way back in the day. I'm talking 1983, so now I'm dating myself. Mm -hmm. Right at your church. Oh, wow. It was phenomenal. Yeah. It's a beautiful church inside. Thank you. Um, it was, um, there was a predecessor church there back in the day that I guess had a fire or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then Mount Moriah rose from the ashes right near the fire station. You're our neighbors right down the street. Mm -hmm. What else do you do at the church? I think you, I, I think you have a food pantry. I, yeah. You do all sorts of things. Do you want to talk about sure. it? Sure. Um, uh, Tuesdays we uh, do a soup kitchen in which we serve uh, anywhere between 100 and 150 constituents, uh, making sure that they get something hot to eat, as well as every now and then we'll have clothing uh, for individuals or we'll partner with other organizations uh, to offer various services. We also do a, a food pantry uh, every third and fourth weekend, uh, Saturday, that is, uh, of the month, uh, as well as uh, specific uh, educational things that we'll do. Uh, we'll do financial empowerment. We'll do... Um, uh, now that the election season is upon us, we'll, you know, we'll have uh, such, um, forums in order to educate people about what's going on with the candidates, what their platforms are, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, you know, we try to stay in tune and engage with the community in any way that we can. And people can go to church on Sunday, right? That's right. What are the times? What, do you uh, have different, every church seems to have different times, and it seems these days that a lot of churches are sharing with other churches. Sure. I think we got about two minutes left. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, certainly our worship experience begins at 10 o'clock mm -hmm. uh, a.m. on Sunday. On Tuesdays, we have uh, something known as Hour of Power, in which uh, I teach that. Thursdays, we have uh, something called FBI, or Family Bible Institute, mm -hmm. uh, in which families can come and bring their children, and which we uh, have classes geared for them. And, uh, you know, so you can definitely check the website and uh, check the Facebook page and get more information. I like that, Family Bible Institute, FBI, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Good acronyms. So just to reiterate the date and the time for the event, it is Mount Moriah Baptist Church, 34th anniversary celebration, Saturday, October 17th, 2015, from 6 to 11 at the Massasoit Conference Center over at 770 Crescent Street. We don't talk ticket prices, but they're up on the website, so you can look for the website. Contact information, Mount Moriah Baptist Church is at 24 Pleasant Street. And one last time, the phone number? 508-588-0832. Uh, yeah. And I, you know what? It's funny I remember that because it's one of the frequent, I remember Brockton exchanges yeah, yeah. for whatever reason. Well, Pastor, you got a great event coming up. We're glad to help promote it. Absolutely. Um, Thank you so much. Uh, we want people to go to it. Yes. We'll probably get clips of it. Okay. Okay. But we're not going to cover it for you to, we want people to go. Yes. Okay. We might do a little sampling. Okay. Do I have a one minute or a 30? It's a one minute. Okay. So uh, any final thoughts? Any final words? Um, we are excited about doing this. Uh, Chris Clark is a nationally known uh, Christian comedian, good, wholesome fun. Uh, again, he is uh, an Image Award uh, nominee. Well, uh, he's, 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 he's just excellent at what he does. And so we're really excited about having this kind of forum to celebrate 34 years in this community, this church community, uh, being right here on Pleasant Street, serving this community. Uh, that's what it is that we're trying to do, continue to try to do, uh, build on the foundation that uh, Reverend Neville uh, continued to, or built up and uh, really just meet the needs of the community. So if the need is to laugh, come on out, enjoy the evening, enjoy some good singing, and go, enjoy good fellowship, and enjoy good laughter. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Much. Pleasure to have you on. Thank you, sir. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.